In this tutorial, we're going to be drawing shapes in one point perspective. So you'll need a ruler, a pencil, and an eraser. What we're going to do first is start with our basics. We'll start with a horizon line. This can be anywhere on the page. And a vanishing point. This vanishing point has to be on the horizon line. Next, we're going to just draw a few different shapes. So I'll try and go for a little bit of a variety here. And what we're going to do next is draw some converging lines. So just like with boxes, it goes from the corners of the shape to the vanishing point. So we'll begin by lining up our ruler with the vanishing point and the corners of our shapes. And when we draw these lines, draw them lightly because we'll be erasing most of them. You don't want to have leftover lines in your drawing. And with this triangle, you can see that all of the converging lines will go to the vanishing point. With the star, we'll start with the corners as well, and there are quite a few more corners on this one than there are on the triangle. As we start to move towards the other side of the triangle, we're going to start noticing that some of these corners would go through the shape. That means we wouldn't have to draw them because they'd be covered up anyway. So just check if your line goes all the way through a shape and not show anywhere else outside of the shape, then you don't need to draw it. So I've checked through all of those and the rest of the lines all go through the shape. So I'm going to leave them out. Now what I'm going to do is draw the parallel line. So parallel to the side of my shape. So I'll start with my ruler lined up with the side and I'll drag it down in a straight line to the distance that I want my shape to be. Then when we add in the next line, we're going to drag our ruler out until we hit that little piece where the parallel line hits the converging line. And that's where we're going to draw our next parallel line. So there's one shape. And we're going to do the same with the star. This is going to take just a little bit longer as there are a few more connection points. Remember that your parallel lines always stay in between the two converging lines on the side of each portion of your shape. So you don't want to go past it, otherwise it will cut off another section. So something you can do if it's kind of confusing is just to imagine like a duplicate of the first shape kind of behind the other shape. That's basically all we're doing when we're drawing these parallel lines. And then we'll notice that little bit over there, the width of the star would be behind the side of it, so we wouldn't need to draw a parallel line there. I'll go through this one kind of quickly the same process.
Now what we have are some rounded shapes. So these are a little more challenging than ones with definite angles. So with the heart, we'll start with the one point that we know is actually there, and we'll line that up. But then we have to find a, a point, so to speak, on this curved edge. So how do you do that? It's curvy, it's not pointed, so. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to line up our ruler with the vanishing point, and we're just going to slide it until we hit the last bit of the shape with the ruler. So right at that edge, and then we're just going to draw a line right past it. So you don't want to be going through the shape at all, because that wouldn't be an edge. So it's just right on kind of the lip of that curve. And then to make a converging line, we can't draw a straight parallel line, because obviously the side of that is curved. So we're going to be parallel to that curving shape right there. So just like I said with the star, you want to imagine that there is a whole nother heart right behind that that's identical in its shape. Next up we have the circle, and just like the heart, we're going to be lining up the edges, so to speak by starting at the vanishing point and sliding our ruler until it just touches the side of the circle. So it doesn't go through it, just brushes the side. And then we'll do the same on the other side. So it just brushes the side. So you can see that these lines would just go right along the edge of the circle. They don't go through it, just right on the edge. And the same for the parallel line. We want to be parallel to the curve of the circle. So we're imagining there's a whole identical circle right behind this one. And then we can erase those extra converging lines. And now we'll quickly go through some shading. So we imagine where our light source is, and we color the areas that are farthest away from the light, the darkest, areas that are a little bit away from the light, kind of a medium value, and then the areas that are directly facing the light would be in a highlight. So the challenge for this part would be what to do with the rounded shapes. So we're going to spend a little more time on those rounded ones. So if the light is hitting the top, obviously the top would be kind of highlighted and then the curving under of the heart would be in a shadow. But I'm slowly going to get lighter with my shading as I move up. So it's kind of a smooth transition from dark to light. That's going to make it look a little more round. And if you notice my marks, I'm kind of following the shape of the heart with it too. So I'm not just going straight up and down. I'm curving around that edge. We'll do the same for the circle or the cylinder. So it's going to be dark on the side away from the light and then slowly get lighter as it gets close to the other edge. And then we curve around that tube shape to create the illusion of three-dimensionality. And that's it. Thanks for watching.